Hey everyone, so in this video, we're going over the best credit card offers going on right now for the fourth quarter of 2023. We got lots of good deals going on in the credit card world right now, which aligns perfectly with the fact that it's the end of the year. We got holiday shopping season. So lots of good credit card offers, like I said, at the moment. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and start looking at some of the best ones that I found right now. So starting off here, we have the Chase Freedom Flex. And if you just go over to the Chase website, this is actually a public offer that's available at the moment on the website. It is a limited time offer. So I I have no idea how long this is going to be available for, but it's something that I've gotten in the past when I got this card, I got a similar offer, uh, and that is for $200 as a bonus after spending 500 bucks in the first three months, plus 5% back on gas and grocery purchases on up to $12,000 of spending for your first 12 months with this card. So uh, actually what a lot of people don't realize is you are earning chase points and not just cash back with this card. So even though it says $200 bonus, that's really 20,000 chase points that you can turn into $200. And then that 5% back on gas and groceries, that's really 5x chase points per dollar that you could turn into 5% cash back. Or if you're smart like me and many other people out there who strategize about this stuff, you could just uh, save up all the chase points you might earn from the sign up bonus and the spending on this card and then save those points and eventually combine them with a more premium Chase Sapphire card where you can then redeem those points for things like travel by transferring those points out and getting a lot more value instead. Uh, the Chase Freedom Flex is also a really great card because right now you're getting 5% back as a rotating quarterly category in the fourth quarter uh, for PayPal purchases. So all you gotta do is link up your Freedom Flex card to your PayPal account and almost 99% of stores online today, uh, they will accept PayPal as a form of payment when you go to checkout. So you're gonna be able to get 5% back on PayPal purchases. You can easily hit that $200 or really 20,000 point bonus by spending 500 bucks over the course of the fourth quarter here in those first three months that you have this card. Uh, and I think it's just a solid credit card to have, no annual fee, uh, lots of people have this. It's one of my favorites and a staple in my wallet. Now this is not an affiliate offer, but it really is a great deal that I think a lot of people should take advantage of. So I don't have any links to this. You can just go over to Chase's public website to search around for this offer and hopefully it is still available. Uh, again, limited time deal as you can see on the screen right here. But actually if you go over to Chase's website, you can see another really great public chase offer for kind of the, the sibling card to the Freedom Flex, and that is the Chase Freedom Unlimited. So uh, again, I've talked about this before on my channel, but you can get the Freedom Flex, Freedom Unlimited, and then a Sapphire card like the Sapphire Preferred, combine all the points you earn, and then redeem them by using the features on the Sapphire Preferred to get even more value from all the points from the signup bonuses and the spending that you earn across these cards. So the Freedom Unlimited with the public offer on Chase's website, again, limited time offer right now, $200 bonus plus 5% on gas and groceries for your first year with this card. A $200 bonus is 20,000 points after spending 500 bucks in the first three months. So this is a great card as a catch-all card, 1.5% or really 1.5x chase points per dollar on everything. So this is kind of the catch-all card that I typically have used over the past maybe like three to four years in my wallet setup. But this is a great deal. So go ahead, go over to Chase's website if you want to take advantage of this card. I do not have a link for this specific offer, but I do have another link that might actually make more sense for some people depending on if you're going to be doing a lot of spending on this one card for the first year that you have it. So I wanna show you that next year. This is actually through the affiliate link that I'll have down below, but you can see for this page here, special offer, unlimited cashback match. And if you actually click through uh, the links that I have, uh, you see view offer here, it'll take you to this site where you'll see limited time double cashback offer. So basically there's no limit to any cashback you can earn on this card. They're going to match whatever cashback or really whatever chase points you earn on this card for the first year that you have it. Um, so you can see here that uh, that 5% that you normally earn on this card from travel book through Chase, that actually is gonna double up to 10%, 3% back that you get or 3X points per dollar on dining and drugstore purchases, that's gonna double up to 6% or really 6X points per dollar. And then uh, where you get 1.5% or 1.5X Chase points per dollar on all other purchases with the Freedom Unlimited for the first year with this, uh, this double cashback matching offer, that's gonna become 3% back or really 3X chase points per dollar on everything. So again, this is another special affiliate link that I do have down below. You can check that out if this link makes more sense, or you can check out the public chase offer. Again, find the best deals out there. You do not have to use my links, but they do help to support this channel here. Uh, I greatly appreciate anyone that uses those links, but I want you guys to find the best deals going on. So those are a few of those right
right now. Uh, and we can move on to a few other Chase cards right now because this just seems to be the time of the year where Chase is really trying to bring in new customers. And there's a lot of good deals going on with them specifically, but I do have some other deals from some other issuers that we'll get to later on in this video as well. So next here we have the Chase Inc. Unlimited card, which is a business credit card, but they have a amazing offer. Um, so just like the other two cards that we talked about so far, they have no annual fees. Uh, this card also has no annual fee, but it is a business credit card, whereas those other two Freedom cards are personal Chase cards. So a lot of people see those personal Chase cards, they feel like that fits better into their wallet because maybe they're not a business owner, they don't view themselves as this big corporate entity, but uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of people can qualify for business credit cards, especially one like this. It's really meant for small business owners. I have it myself, uh, and there's a great deal going on right now for $900 as a bonus cashback offer after spending $6,000 in your first three months with this card. So a bit of a higher minimum spend in just three months, but if you are somebody that's going to be putting a lot of spend uh, on a credit card in the coming months, this could be a very easy uh, and very lucrative bonus to take advantage of because again, like those other cards, this is earning Chase Ultimate Rewards points. So really it says $900 cash back, but that's really gonna be earned in the form of 90,000 Chase points. This is also just a good catch-all card here for getting 1.5% back or really 1.5X Chase points per dollar on everything. Uh, if we go over to the actual page here, you can see uh, the offer and it really talks about the business unlimited, uh, cash back rewards unlimited, 1.5% cash back on every business purchase. So I do use this card uh, as a catch-all card for my business, but uh, if you go ahead and check out another video that we have here on this channel, I sort of made a full guide to getting approved for business credit cards, where uh, if you're somebody that's just selling stuff on eBay, maybe you drive for Uber, you do some freelance work, or something very small and minor, that all qualifies as a business and does make you eligible to get approved for a business credit card. Even if you don't have any LLC set up, you can apply as a sole proprietor. Or if you do have an LLC like I do, you can apply with that as well. Uh, so you can apply with a social security number or an EIN. Uh, but either way, great offer to take advantage of. I highly recommend that anybody looks into this deal. Uh, and there is a similar offer going on right now for the Chase Inc. business cash card. Uh, sort of uh, a lesser used card that I have because it is earning 5% back in more business focused categories uh, like office supply stores, internet, cable, phone services, and then 2% back on gas stations and restaurants, but it has the exact same $900 cash back bonus after spending $6,000 in the first three months that you have this card. And then again, that's $900 in the form of 90,000 chase points. Uh, and you can combine all the bonuses on these ink cards, those freedom cards, combine them with a Sapphire card you might have in the future, and then redeem those points for even more value than $900 cash back. And again, we have other videos here on the channel talking about the chase trifecta, talking about how to redeem chase points. So go ahead, check those out if you wanna learn more. But yeah, if you click through to this page, you'll see again here, $900 cash back offer. This is sort of the best offer we've seen with this card. If you're able to hit that $6,000 minimum spend over the course of three months, I think this really is a card that makes sense for a lot of people to get. Now, if you're looking for a very good premium travel credit card, there's always the Capital One Venture X, which has a standard sign bonus of 75,000 bonus miles after spending $4,000 in the first three months. This is a personal credit card. So very good card. You do actually get a pretty high limit if you're able to qualify for this card. I've been denied for it twice just because I've got a bunch of credit cards and uh, it kind of makes sense to get this card a little bit earlier on in your credit card journey because Capital One sees me as somebody that's maybe not as profitable since I've got all these recent hard inquiries on my credit report. They can clearly see I'm getting a lot of credit cards. They know I'm just gonna get this bonus, probably never pay any interest, but they did approve my fiance for it right after I got denied because she has less cards. Um, so I knew that if I applied and got denied, she could still get it and that worked out just fine. I'm an authorized user under her account. Um, but this is a good offer going on right now. Uh, if you plan to spend $4,000 over the course of the next three months here, again, with the holiday shopping coming up and all that stuff, uh, you also earn 2X Capital One miles per dollar on this card. You can earn uh, elevated spending multipliers when you book travel through Capital One. But really, this is a good catch-all card. It has a 395 annual fee, but also $300 travel credit to offset that fee, plus a 10,000 mile anniversary bonus worth 100 bucks that also helps to offset that fee. So very easy card to justify that higher annual fee with. And then you get to take advantage of all the premium travel benefits, airport lounge access, TSA pre-check, uh, or global entry credit, and a lot of other good stuff like that. Now, again, this offer is for 75,000 miles after spending 
$4,000 in three months, which is their standard public offer. It's the offer that I have through my affiliate links. So you can check that out if you want to. However, again, I want you guys to find the best deals out there on the market at the moment. So if you just do a quick quick Google search, you can actually see uh, VentureX 90K offer. Search that in Google. Right now, it does look like this still is an active offer. Um, you can kind of click through some of these websites here. So uh, this is just a website called The Thrifty Traveler that I've uh, read plenty of times in the past. Uh, and they talk about this 90K offer that I guess was just available to certain people through uh, their referral links. Um, I checked my own referral link through my fiance. We do not have an elevated 90K offer to give you guys, but if you click this link here. It actually just takes you to this page and uh, it still says unlimited 2X miles with a 90,000 bonus mile offer here. So. It still does seem to be active. Go ahead and search for that higher offer if you want to, because if you're gonna spend a lot during the holiday shopping season, again, card like this, you can really earn a lot of value back. Those 90,000 bonus miles are gonna be worth $900 at a minimum, but more realistically, when you transfer those miles out, if you learn how to do that by subscribing down below to my channel and checking out some of the other videos that we have on how to redeem credit card points, you can turn those 90,000 miles into at least $1,800 in value for travel by transferring out for either US domestic flights or obviously the higher aspirational business and first class flights if you're traveling over to Europe or Asia or something like that. Lots of good options for using these valuable Capital One miles in those ways as well. Now, if you're just looking for a standard like $200 cashback offer with a very reliable card here, uh, this is going to be another very standard offer for the Capital One Saver One card. No annual fee, $200 cashback offer after spending 500 bucks in the first three months. So this is gonna be an affiliate link that I have down below. You can also check out the public offer on Capital One's website. It does look to be the same offer going on right now, but uh, nothing elevated or special here, nothing limited time, just a very standard good deal going on for a no annual fee card. You are gonna get 3% cash back on dining, entertainment, streaming, and grocery store purchases with the Saver One card. And if you combine it with the Venture X, you can kind of create a very, a very valuable Capital One Duo setup and actually transfer the cash back over to the Venture X card and turn that cash back into more valuable venture miles to again, get more value for travel. So very good setup there. The Capital One Duo definitely competes very well against the Chase Trifecta that I talked about before. So yeah, nothing special about the Saver One with this offer, just a very good deal here. If you do plan to spend obviously 500 bucks in the next three months, uh, you can capture at least some value back from this $200 bonus. Now, similarly here, another good $200 bonus on a very good credit card that's cash back focused is the Amex Blue Cash Everyday card where you can earn $200 $200 as a statement credit after you spend $2,000 in the first six months with this card. So a bit of a higher minimum spend requirement, $2,000 of minimum spend compared to $500 on the Saver One card, but you do have six months to hit that minimum spend compared to three months on the Saver One. Um, again, it's $200 as a statement credit, so you can capture some of that value back when you put some spending on this card this holiday season. And the reason I wanted to mention it here is because on top of that cash back bonus offer as a statement credit, you're also gonna be getting 3% cash back on US supermarkets, 3% cash back on online US retail purchases, and 3% cash back at US gas stations. So if you're buying stuff online, getting 3% back on top of that sign up bonus, that's also a very good deal. Those 3% categories are gonna be limited to getting 3% cash back on only up to $6,000 of spending per calendar year here and then after that it's going to go back down to one percent back um, so that is a downside but three percent back for online us retail purchases that's a very unique sort of category here definitely a very very valuable card if you're interested in the cash back stuff now another good credit card that also at this moment does have a 200 dollars sign up bonus is going to be the city double cash card and normally if you know credit cards you know that this card does not come with a standard bonus however you can see with this screen here it says earn 200 dollars cash back after spending spending $1,500 on purchases in the first six months. So this is a special limited time offer of some kind that I came across. Um, so I wanted to mention it here in this video. If you go to the city public website, I believe you do not see this offer as I'm filming this. So this is only through some special links. And if you wanna find this page, all you gotta do is go to the link I have down below in the description. That's gonna lead you to my link tree page where I have links to a bunch of other good resources that are related to my channel. And this top link here says best cashback cards. Just click that link, go through find the city double cash and eventually that'll get you over to this page. Now you're actually earning this bonus in the form of 20,000 city thank you points that then you can convert into $200 of cash back. And this card also earns 2% back on everything by getting 1% back when you buy something and 1% back when you pay off that balance. So effectively 2% cash back, which is actually earned
earned as 2x city thank you points per dollar. So if you are running sort of a city trifecta setup with the city premier card, you can basically combine the city thank you points you earn from this card, from the city custom cash, and move them over to the city premier card where you can then redeem for a bit more value by transferring those city points out to travel partner programs. And then next here, another Amex card that's more travel focused is the famous Amex gold card, which everybody knows is a good food credit card for getting 4x Amex points per dollar on grocery store, supermarket purchases, plus 4x points per dollar uh, on dining at restaurants and some stuff like that. So this is a very good uh, card for food spending. It does have a 250 annual fee. It has up to $240 in annual credits that are able to offset that fee in some way through uh, Uber credits as well as dining credits with specific dining partners that American Express does list on their website. Um, to me, it's always been a very valuable card because Amex points are a valuable points currency. When you take those points and then redeem for travel by, again, transferring out to travel partners and doing stuff like that. Now, the sign-up bonus on this card does fluctuate from around 60 to 75,000 and even sometimes up to 90,000 Amex points, but really depends on what offer you find. I'll leave an affiliate link down below that leads to a, uh, a nice Amex gold card calculator where you can decide if this card is gonna be a good fit for you. It allows you to kind of plug in uh, what you spend your money on, uh, how you value those credits, what kind of uh, public offer you're actually getting as uh, in the form of a sign-up bonus here. Uh, so you can really see the value that you get in year one with this card as well as in year two and beyond. Uh, but if you do see a higher elevated sign-up bonus for the Amex Gold card, it could be worth it to get. Recently, they did announce that with the Amex Gold, you're not going to be eligible to get a bonus with this card if you got a bonus on the Amex Platinum card before, which means the ideal strategy is to now get the Amex Gold card first, get the sign-up bonus there, and then in the future, apply for the Amex Platinum card and get the sign-up bonus there as well. Now, in addition to any points you might earn from this card or any other Amex cards that earn membership rewards points, I gotta mention here that during the holiday shopping season, it's really going to make a lot of sense to be using another cashback portal. And in this case, if you have American Express cards, I would highly recommend you go ahead and sign up for Rakuten. I have a link down below that should get you either a 30 or $40 bonus with your first purchase you make through Rakuten. That's a certain dollar amount, but a very good offer if you check that out down below. I've been using Rakuten for years now, and a really cool feature here is anytime you go to their website, you can see that you can earn an extra one to 10% cash back on different stores. And if you actually go to your settings of Rakuten, you can change the payout method from cash back that's usually paid out via PayPal or something like that. You could change that to earning in the form of Amex membership rewards points. So basically, anytime you shop through the Amex uh, or the Rakuten portal, you're gonna be earning Amex points instead of cash back. And what you can do is really stack the cash back and the points you might earn from other credit cards along with earning Amex points. So what I've been doing actually is I use sort of like a catch-all card like the Capital One Venture X or the Chase Freedom Unlimited where I'm earning 1.5x Chase points per dollar or 2x Venture miles per dollar on any purchases that I make. But then if I'm going through Rakuten to shop at Saks Fifth Avenue or Nike or Under Armour or really Macy's or any, any website you can think of, it's usually available through Rakuten. I'm able to also earn Amex points on top of that. Check out Rakuten, check out any of the affiliate links to the cards we talked about or check out the public offers to these cards as well. Just find the best deals because there is a lot of good stuff going on right now. I want you guys to capture as much value as possible for any spending that you might be doing here in the fourth quarter with holiday shopping uh, as we end the year here in 2023. So uh, thank you to anyone that watched this video. As always, go ahead and subscribe. Like this if this was valuable in any way, uh, but I will see you guys in the next one.